hospitality's nature is that we're there to make people feel welcome. And there's a huge amount of people that are just being neglected and spaces that aren't being designed in a way or being used in a way that encourage people with disabilities to come and enjoy the spaces that everyone else takes for granted. We're very excited because this is the launch for our 2023-24 Blue Badge Access Awards. And what better place to meet and talk about what we're doing than at this event? The idea of the Access Awards is we're rewarding venues that have had a thoughtful, innovative and design-led approach to accessibility. We started at the House of Lords in 2016. It's amazing to see how it's progressed over the years. We've moved around the country trying to garner people who want to tell us about their hospitality venues that are doing something special or interesting to celebrate and make access higher up the agenda. I think this is quite important. We need a lot more of that in the world. It's also asking people to go the extra mile and think about all of people's needs rather than just ticking boxes and saying we've done the minimum. Even like the large brands really need to, to make note of, of what they're doing in order to make sure that they're consciously moving forward with, with purpose and, and with feeling really. It's important for the world at large. It's, it's front and centre in our need as a human race to be inclusive. I really do think the awards are challenging design. It's also highlighting what is good practice and bad practice and it's inspiring other people to think about how they might attract and design spaces in a different way that makes it more amenable and more attractive for all guests. It, it just raises the whole awareness of inclusivity and accessibility um, and it just it touches the nerves of lots of different people who should be knowing better and the designers who are helping making the place a bit better. I think it's really important because Showcasing good accessibility doesn't only inspire other businesses to get involved and see the importance of it, but it also allows people with disabilities to know what's out there and what they can do and be able to spend their purple pound money. This is a really great opportunity to, to take it and to, to make it worthwhile. And what we're seeing tonight is that there's a huge ROI in, in adding these accessible um, spaces that that feel like the rest of the hotel. It's moving in the right direction, and there's lots of people who want to make it much quicker. That's part of our job, is to help that progress. It's people like Robin and Fiona that, that make this topic human. That's what captures the emotion, and I feel as if that is what will lead to change moving forward. I'm hugely excited about the 2023 awards. It's the first time I've been involved. I think it's a great cause. I'm looking forward to the event and seeing the innovation, creativity. I just want to see more people doing great things within the community and uh, inspiring others to do the same. And the point of an event like this is to try and generate some real interest to take part and showcase what people can do. But the main thing we're looking for is exceptional accessibility in the hospitality industry. We want lots of entries. We're hugely impressed with the number of pre-entry date entries we've already had, which tells us that we're onto something here. I know lots of people who are already throwing their hat in the ring. They've got great concepts, great ideas. It's trying to bring it into fruition is, is a challenge, but we're all here to help them do that.